Happy, happy. Welcome to Cup of Cuoco. <laughs> Today is Friday. And guess who just shit in the house? Hint, it wasn't me. Dre, right. blueberry, our little gem of a love muffin has shit in my condo three days in a row. Oh, this morning she added pee. Now, if any of you guys know me, I'm like a crazy, I let the dogs out like 50 times a day. Um, obviously here it's different because there's no yard. So Blue was actually with me all day yesterday. Um, took her out to the bathroom, fed her, she went out, she went. Guess at some point in the middle of the night, she didn't bother to let me know. She just thought, ah, I'll just shit by the door again. Oh, and this time I'll leave you a giant river of pee. Daddy comes home today and I cannot wait to hand her over to him so he can clean up her shit. Sorry, this is a very explicit episode of Cup of Cuoco. By the way, it's, uh, I don't know what time it is. Maybe almost eight. This happened around seven. Blueberry has been sitting on the stairs. She won't come down. The guilt has put her into a catatonic state where she cannot move. She won't even look at me. She won't even come eat her breakfast, which like, says a lot of how I don't know if she feels guilty. I think she does feel guilty. But it's like, dude, give me a little tap, a little whimper, a little woof. I'll take you out, man. <sighs> every window and door is open, every candle is on because my apartment smells like shit. Oh, also my, um, these are real. People like to ask if my glasses are real. Yes, I have real prescription. Yes, I can't see. And yes, I don't qualify for the surgery. Does that answer your questions? What was I just going to say? It smells like shit in here, man. Oh, I know. My eyes are swollen. I woke up with my eyes swollen this morning because I spent two hours last night binge watching um, Restaurant Impossible. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's impossible not to cry at Restaurant Impossible. I love that show. Chef Robert Irvine, I don't know, I'm telling you, he's so awesome. He walks in, he's like, this. You see that dust? He's right, he's not wrong. And then everyone cries at the end when they see, it's really, I was, I actually found myself like convulsed sobbing. And I watched like, I think four or five episodes. Oh. I'm gonna think of it, Blueberry could have let me know then she had to go to the bathroom too. I mean, she was sitting right next to me, just cuddling, being really sweet. freezing now because all the doors are open. I don't think there's much, I think also the thing with Blueberry is I call her a free range dog. Obviously all of our animals are, it doesn't make any sense, but because Blue lives primarily on the ranch, on ran, Carl's ranch, she does whatever she wants, right? She just lives on land. When I go to the bathroom, I go right here. I want to eat that leaf, I'm going to eat it. Oh, there's a bowl of dog, I'll eat that. I'll sleep here, take a nap here. Oh, there's dad riding his horse. Like, there's no, no offense to Carl, my dearest husband who acts like Blueberry is the golden child of the universe. She can do no wrong. So I think she just doesn't, she's just kind of like, dad doesn't care. Why is mommy looking so scary right now? Is this a view into the future of what our kids will be like? Or how we would raise kids? I feel like how you raise animals will kind of 
it's a little window into what that would be like, don't you think? And we have obviously had so many animals. Yeah. Carl's definitely gonna be the one when we have like a six month old, he'd be like, oh, she can ride the pony. It's fine, she's fine. And I'll be like, oh dear God, get down from there. I see it, I can feel it. Everybody calm down, I'm not pregnant. Just thinking ahead. Anyway, that's all I got. I'm literally afraid my eyes smell like shit because of the shit stink in this condo. <sighs> Have a nice Friday.